In this tutorial, we'll create this cursor following camera animation. This is the current scene without any camera controls. So to begin, I create a couple of variables needed for horizontal and vertical camera movement. Next, we'll update the values of these variables using this formula. The main factors mouse X and mouse Y determine the distance the camera should move when horizontal and vertical cursor movements are detected. Now, in the animate function, we'll use these values to reposition the camera. Note that I reversed the sign of mouse Y because the positive side of the Y axis in the document's coordinate system is opposite in 3GS. So as you can see, the camera movement is working, but there is a problem as the camera is mispositioned and only centered when the cursor is at the left edge of the document. What we want is for the camera to follow the cursor's position. So if the mouse is at the center of the document, the camera should be in the middle, and if the mouse is at the left edge of the document, the camera should be positioned at the left side of the scene. To fix that, I'll subtract only half of the width and height of the document from the cursor's horizontal and vertical positions. Now, things are better, but we still have a couple of things to address. The first is to make the camera rotate towards the center of the scene when it's moving left or right. To do that, I'll call the camera look at method, where scene position represents the origin of the scene. The second and last thing to add is inertia. I'll achieve that by multiplying these two lines by an arbitrary value, let's say 0.05. And with that, we come to the end of this video, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.